Hi, Africa. This is SciTech, and I thank you for joining me. It's live right here on Africa News, and I am Ignatius Ano. Nigeria can boast of many good things. Among them is its largest online library. This digital library was launched in October, and responses have been encouraging. The platform by Bam Books already has over 2,000 members and 1,000 books, and they are still counting. Bam Books says it is on a mission to empower local authors to get their works across while making money for themselves using the power of technology. According to statistics, Nigeria has the largest mobile markets in Africa with more than 100 million internet users. Soon you'll know about how this digital library in Nigeria is operating. But first, here's founder and CEO of Bam Books, Ugo Okoye, on his motivation for such a move in Africa's most populous nation. A lot of African authors, publishers, writers, they find it difficult to distribute their, their, their books you know, um, in the country. Uh, you find most of them having their books on platforms like Amazon, uh, who, which is an American company focused on, the, on, on international content. Um, so there was, a big, you know, there was a big opportunity we saw there to be able to bring African content, African literature uh, to Africans and Africans in diaspora as well. Um, so we started building this platform um, a couple of years ago, two years ago in 2016. Now we just launched uh, the app successfully last month um, and it's doing very, very well so far. The largest online library in Nigeria offers more than just a platform to select what you want to read. The intelligence of the app means one is recommended with choices to pick from. The platform basically is, you know, allows members to have unlimited access uh, to all, all the content on the platform, basically. So if, if users or members want to read books on entrepreneurship uh, or books on romance and fiction or religious books, um, they, can find, uh, they can find it there. Um, the app uh, basically is, a, you know, is intelligent, so it learns what the, the, the reader is, is interested in and then it starts to recommend uh, books you know, that, that they might actually want to read. Now, authors are not charged to have their ebook on this digital platform, but members pay 500 naira or less than two US dollars to enjoy the services of it. Most of the authors that we have, um, they contact us uh, and they send, uh, send over their books uh, in PDF or EPUB format, which is the standard for ebooks. Um, we don't charge any fee, it's actually um, free for authors to onboard their books on our platform. Our members are charged 500 naira a month, um, and then the authors basically get a, a share of that. Um, our international plan, yes, we're in Nigeria for now. Uh, we don't have many authors from outside Nigeria, but it's something that we're willing to explore. From education in Nigeria, let's now shift focus to health in Sierra Leone. It's a critical sector that lies at the heart of our survival on Earth. Sadly, collecting data in most health facilities across Africa is poor, but thankfully, all hope is not lost. eHealth Africa has stepped in to make things easier, timely and efficient. In 2016, the team created the Electronic Integrated Disease Surveillance and Response System to improve the flow of information within the health systems. In Sierra Leone, this purpose-built digital data collection and reporting tool is helping improve healthcare delivery at the districts. At national level, Lester Witt is manager in charge of information systems. Are he eat health Africa based in Sierra Leone? So by putting data into this uh, into the tool and electronic, it helps them identify trends and provides a, a centralized repository for important disease surveillance data. More recently, the project's been working towards providing all health facilities with approximately 1,200 uh, a mobile tablet and training them on using a DHIS2 app that's been customised for Sierra Leone. And they use the app to enter their weekly IDSR report, which is capturing around about 26 different diseases, um, and they report on cases and deaths. And that's all I have for you on SciTech this week. I am Ignatius Anna. Let the conversation continue on Twitter. Follow me at Ignatius Anna and use the hashtag at the morning call.